Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully you guys have found me again. This video, as you can see, the last time I attempted this, it there was no sound. So I'll give everybody a few seconds. Hopefully you can find me again. Oh, Carol's back. Carol, can you hear me? Oh, Bobby's back. Oh, perfect. Okay, we have sound. Good, good, good. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, it has been a week of Mondays. And I hope that ends tomorrow because Mondays and I are not friends. So let me flip this paper over. <laughs> oh my heavens, ladies, this is crazy. All right. So here we go. Technology isn't working. So as I was saying, and you guys are probably wondering what I was saying, Tonight's card showcases the beautiful shaded summer stamp set. Hi, everybody. I'm now just solely on my phone. So if I miss your comments, it's just because I can't really see them all that clearly. But I will go back in the end and check on them. So I'm just trying to see if I can pull it up on my screen, actually, and see if it'll show me on my monitor that I was attempting to use earlier. Okay, so anyway, let's talk about this. Shaded Summer. I just checked and Shaded Summer has, as of today, gone on to out of stock. But it will be back March 14th. So I'm still going to share what I'm doing um, because there are still options. So, oh, here, I've got my comments now in front of me. Hopefully this is going to work. Okay, so I have Shaded Summer class to go as my newest class. And I've got five beautiful cards here all designed to share with you guys whoever joins the class you get two of each of these cards you also get in your class to go kit the shaded summer stamp set a full package 48 sheets of abstract beauty designer series paper and the brushed brass butterflies embellishments so that's all this remember two of each plus as a bonus for the next first five people, because I only have five left, I'm going to throw this in absolutely free. So um, these were celebration items previously, and I have five extras. Well, I had more, but I've sold some of them in previous class kits. So there's five left um, if you're interested in that. If you already have the stamp set and the dies, and you're interested in doing uh, the cards anyway there is an option for that too I will post the link to the class and it would have been emailed out to my in my newsletter the class is $90 including the stamp and the dies um, yes so I will post that sorry I feel a little frustrated after that whole no sound thing I tell you it's been crazy okay breathe Denise it's all good all right March 1st today and Stampin' Up! has released some amazing deals. And as I was showing you guys before, the mini stamp cut and emboss machine is on sale for the month of March for 20% off. So that's an awesome deal. Um, it also, there are a number of bundles that are also on sale for 20% off. Um, and I will have those posted on my blog, but wouldn't you know it, my blog also isn't working currently so I will hopefully by tonight it will be up and going um, it's there you can still see it I just have I'm having uh, struggles on the back end trying to get posts posted so um, that's happened my camera quit working so I have no face view and then there was no sound I tell you it's just been one of those days okay so that sales happening and also today March 1st is the uh, is the waves collection has been released and again now I don't know where I've put that but I will share that with you on my blog and in posts on Facebook as well okay enough about that because I'm just stumbling through all these things and I'm breathing thank you Sherry and now let's just make a pretty card because stamping relaxes everybody well it relaxes me makes me feel happy so let's get to that I'll take those Monday blues away okay here is the card we are going to create. I designed this card last night, not really knowing what I wanted to do, what I wanted to show, but the shaded summer stamps that was sitting on my desk. And I thought, 
I'm going to do a fun fold using this. Well, the fun fold turned into a fun fold. You can see I've got the joy fold card here. But it also it has a lot of different techniques and little tips and tricks that I can share with you too. So let's get started. Aw, thanks, Sonia. Um, let's get started. So I have used a monochromatic scheme. So I've used um, Misty Moonlight, so the blue, and then I've used, you know, like the nice um, balmy blue here, and I've got a tone of gray that kind of can pull from the Misty Moonlight. This To me, this is like a blue-gray, so I feel like it all just sort of flows. All right, so let's show you these tips and tricks in this fun fold. I've got all the pieces prepared, and here's my card base. So I'm going to pull my ruler out because, oh my goodness, my regular ruler's even gone, I tell you. So let's just measure this because I can't remember. So it was seven inches by five and a half, that much I remember. And then I scored it still at four and a quarter this way. So we've just got like a half flap here. And so this measures two and three quarters. <clears throat> this again, as long as I can get my blog working, this will all be posted on my blog with the measurements tomorrow. Okay, so there's our first fold. And then we're going to take our card here. And I believe that I, <laughs> this one was six by four. Here we go, six by four, scored in half at the three inch mark. So we're just gonna fold that in half. And again, we're gonna burnish that with our bone folder. And just to show you, this is sort of how the card is gonna get put together, right? So our opens this way and then it'll open that way. Okay, so let's get it all decorated and then we can show how this goes. So I am using paper from the Heart, I think it's Heart and Home. I'm just gonna pull it out here. Let me find this gorgeous paper to share with you. Right here. So this is the Heart and Home paper collection. It is absolutely gorgeous. All these lovely wood greens in the white and gray are so, so pretty. So this is the paper that I'm using for tonight's card. You can see I'm using this pattern here as well as this one. And that's available in the mini catalog. So let's set this aside. And then we're going to take these two pieces. Isn't that pretty? I love that pattern so much. All right, so now we're going to use a blending brush and we're going to use our ink pad, our Misty Moonlight. I'm just going to set this aside. And remember, if you've watched a video with me before, I did a blending one a couple weeks ago. When you're holding your blending brushes, I know it's tempting to do this, but that's not how, we're, that's not how they're intended. If you want a nice, smooth blending um, technique, then you want to hold it way down here on the handle and you just want to twist in a circular motion on your ink pad. And then, this is a little reminder if you did watch that video, on your scratch paper, so that yeah, original dark bit comes off there. And then all we're gonna do is do a little bit of shading. We're just gonna go along the edge of this paper. Okay, so this is our first technique or tip that I wanted to share with you guys, is just how awesome it is to just use your blending brush and get that little bit of a blue around the edge. So I'm gonna hold that up closer to the camera so you can see it a bit clearer how the inside here is still the white, but you've got that nice thick blue um, blending on the outside. So we're gonna do the same thing to this piece here. Okay, and because I got more ink on there, I'm just gonna do the same thing here. And then circular motions are always best, I find. So I'll hold that in place. All right, <laughs> okay, so there we go. So there is our uh, wood grain with that nice blue tone around it as well now. All right, so let's attach, I'm just gonna move that out before my hand ends up in it. We're going to now glue this down, if I can find my, my stamp and seal. Okay. So we're going to attach that. Now this is the inside piece of our Joyfold card. So this just measured four by five and a quarter. And that's just gonna sit in there like that. Now isn't that pretty how you got this nice border and then it kind of blends the same color inwards. 
Now on the front of the card, we're now going to attach this piece. And the same thing. And I love, love, love these honeybees on the back of this paper. I love it. So I just want to show you guys how cute that pattern is. It's beautiful. Um, but for this card, the bees didn't work, but I do love this diagonal pattern. So we're going to use that like that. Okay. So here's the start of our card. Now I'm going to attach our second piece. So the key to this for me anyway, is that we are going to use multi-purpose glue. And the reason I'm going to use that is because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room if I don't get it quite straight, which I probably won't the first time, especially today. So let's get some glue on here. Remember, this is going to open the opposite of how we would think. So it's going to be this way. We're going to place it in here, kind of eyeballing it. You do have a few seconds with this one to straighten it out. So that's very crooked to my eye. I think that looks about straight. So you're just going to kind of fiddle with this until you get it main key here is there it looks straight and as far as i can tell with the camera sitting over top of it it looks straight to me so we're going to go with that okay all right so there's our fun joy fold card now i've got two pieces here that measure um two and three quarters by three and three quarters so that's just a quarter inch um smaller than the gray piece itself and this one we're going to put on the inside but before I do that I'm going to do the same blending technique the other piece that I have is two and three quarters by three and three quarters but ahead of time I did emboss it using the hive 3d embossing folder this one is absolutely beautiful I love how deep that impression is and of course it goes beautifully with those little bumblebees I showed you on the paper before. So I've just gone ahead and embossed that. And now we're going to set these two pieces out with our blending brush again. I probably had enough ink on there already, but, and I'm just going to do really quickly on the outside. Now, before we had blending brushes, I would do a very similar technique to this with my sponge daubers. Um, it didn't usually come out as blendy and as thick, so you can get a, a different technique using your sponge daubers, but I love these blending brushes, so we're going to use those. Okay, and if you feel like you need to go darker, you just put a little bit more pressure or go over it again, or put a little bit more ink on too. Okay, so now we've got both of those pieces done as well. So let's go ahead and glue the inside to the inside of the card. Right here. Okay. Oh, before I did, I should have stamped this first just in case, but we're going to wing it now. So I wanted this card to say happy birthday on the inside. So let's go ahead with the Misty Moonlight ink. You guys can't see that in the camera. I'm going to stamp happy birthday just here in the center. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to attach now, we're going to attach the um, honeycombs. Now, when I'm looking at it on the card like this, to me, this does look a little bit too light. So I'm going to just do really quickly, get a bit more blending, a little bit more ink on here, and I'm just going to add a bit more dark to the edge of this piece. So it doesn't need a ton, but I just felt like that was a little bit too light. So there we go. There's a little bit more contrast and I'm much happier with that. So we're going to go ahead and glue that on. So for those of you watching, have you ever tried the blending brushes? And if you have, what is your thought? Do you love them? So here we go. There is that part done. Now these are the um, Heart and Home doilies. And these were my free gift for customers who spent $60 with my host code in February. 
So um, for those of you that that applies to you, I'm going to get them ordered tonight and they'll be off to you as soon as they arrive to me. So we're going to go ahead and attach this beautiful doily. And look at that, the back's white. So if you wanted a white doily, it's got a, a double purpose. Love it. So we're just going to go ahead and glue this one on here. Now the key to this is you don't want this part of the doily to go beyond the smoky slate because when you open it, it's then going to fold. And I know that because I did that last night the first time. Oh, Bev and Tina have used them and love them. That's awesome. Um, okay, so there's our doily on there. Now we're going to do what I call the marker technique. So here is this gorgeous floral image from the summer sh some shaded summer stamp set. And you can see in here that I have got it two-tone blue. So to do that, I'm going to use my Stampin' Write markers. Now you guys who watch my videos every week know that I love my Stampin' Blends. And typically when I'm coloring, that's where I go to. But you cannot do this technique with your Stampin' Blends. You have to do it with a Stampin' Write marker. The Stampin' Blends are alcohol-based and so they dry instantly. So this technique won't work. So that is why we have these amazing Stampin' Blends to do this technique. If you're not familiar with the Stampin' Write markers, sorry, not Stampin' Blends, they do have also two ends. So they have a very small journaling um, pen end and then they have the thicker marker paint V type of end. So I'm going to use Misty Moonlight, but I'm gonna first start with my Balmy Blue. Okay, so some of you have probably done this technique um, and those of you who haven't, just watch, this is an awesome one. So I've got my scrap piece of um, basic white sitting here ready to go and I'm just going to start coloring where I want this balmy blue. So for me this time I want the colored the flowers to be the lighter blue. You can see I'm just coloring. Okay. And you're not, it will look like it's drying. Don't try not to worry about it. It's hard. I sometimes do as well, but you can just sort of go over it again. Okay. So there I've got the flowers in the balmy blue. And now with my misty moonlight, I'm going to come in and I'm going to color the spots that I didn't color with balmy blue. Okay. And you can see, you can just kind of run it right across. Just be a little extra careful where the images are very close to one another. Okay. Don't forget about these leaves up here. Okay, so I've got it all colored. Now you can't see me because you can't see my face, but I'm just going to huff on the stamp, which means I'm just gonna um, breathe on to the stamp to get everything moistened up again. <sighs> Sound like Darth Vader. And then we're gonna go ahead and stamp this and then the magic is gonna happen. Voila, there we go. Isn't that fun? So the possibilities are endless with the stamp and write markers. You could, you know, we could have done green leaves and yellow and pink flowers and whatever we wanted. But because I'm doing the monochromatic look, I wanted to stick with blue on blue. So let's go ahead and we're going to just cut this out. Now there are, oh, you know what? I could use my dies today because, no, never mind, because I don't have my, I don't have my uh, plates handy for my embossing machine. So we'll just go ahead and fussy cut this. It's not, it's not too hard to do. So we'll just trim this up. I'm not gonna be too, too fussy about my spacing around it. I am leaving a white border. I find you, leaving the white border is a little more forgiving than trying to get it right on the ink marks. And again, cutting with the camera right over top is a little bit challenging, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll do the best we can. 
Thank you all for joining back after that first no sound attempt. I'm glad that you stuck it out and came back to watch. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to do a couple more little techniques on this card as well. So like I said in the in the introduction on the original video, this one has it all. It's got the fun fold, it's got the stamping technique, it's got a few tips and tricks, it's got the blending brush, a um, couple more techniques still to come. Basic ones, but still, sometimes it's nice to get those little reminders because you forget about certain things. Um, There we go. Okay, good enough. So here is our piece now. And we're going to attach our flowers using Stampin' Dimensionals. Surprise, surprise. I just need one there. So I've just got four on the back. And we're just going to put this guy, it's a pretty little flower. Again, you want to make sure nothing is going over the edge so it doesn't get caught up when you're opening it. All right, so there you go. There is so far. Now what we want to do is on this strip of misty moonlight, I am going to heat emboss the other sentiment in white. So I have got my embossing little tool set here. So we've got Versamark ink and we've got the Stampin' White embossed powder. Both are available in the annual catalog. This is an old tray that Stampin' Up! used to sell as well as an embossing buddy. So we don't currently sell these, but if you don't have them, um, you can get them um, in other supply, craft supply stores or online. All right, so we've got this um, embossing buddy and all that does is it removes the static so that your embossing powder isn't gonna stick everywhere and I've got this love you friend how cute is that love you friend and then inside happy birthday that is just an absolutely beautiful card to send to somebody so we're gonna just stamp that in the clear versa mark and then using my white embossing powder and this tray if you don't have a tray even a piece of paper will work underneath um, you just don't want to have this right on your work surface because these little gritty embossing powder will get everywhere and it's quite annoying when that happens okay so I've just got it ready to go oh, a little bit came off there okay you can see how nice that looks and then I'm just gonna melt it with my heat tool which doesn't reach to the camera so bear with me So there we go. So let's just fold all this stuff out of the way over here. Put that on. So you can see how beautiful that is. That's my favorite way to get white sentiments on dark paper is embossing it. You can also use craft ink. Um, it's not as bold of a look, but it does work. And then lo and behold, here's my banners pick a punch. I think this is one of my go-to favorite tools uh, lately. I use it so much it seems. So I'm just going to stick this in and as you can see it's not the right size to fit directly in between these um, tracks but I'm just trying to eyeball it centered between those. So we're going to flip it over and we're going to punch that out and I'm hoping, oh good it didn't cut off any of my friend. <laughs> okay, oh I did it the opposite this time. Oh well that's okay. You can see on this card I had the flat end here. This time I do it the opposite but that's okay like I said week of Mondays so now I'm just going to trim off a bit of this edge normally I would do this with my stampin trimmer or my paper trimmer but we'll just cut it off like that 
Okay, so that now is going to go again with some Stampin' Dimensionals. We're going to put one on either end. Like so now for this, because I've done it this way, I just want to make sure that these points don't be, extend beyond the smoky slate either. Okay, well that doesn't look very straight. Okay, so there we've got it. We're almost done. Just two more little tips and tricks to show you guys. So I now am going to use my Stampin' Blends. So just like I said, your Stampin' Blends wouldn't work to do your coloring technique. Your Stampin' Write Markers won't work to color your rhinestones. So here we've got just the plain basic rhinestones and I want to have blue rhinestones to match my monochromatic theme. So I'm going to use my dark Misty Moonlight Stampin' Blend and I'm just going to color on the sheet and there's a reason for that. Um, if you color them, put them on your card and then color them, if your tip falls off the edge, you're going to have that color on your card. So I color them on here and then I transfer them over to my project. So there we go. Now you can have rhinestones in any color you want as long as you've got the alcohol or Stampin' Blends marker to match. So we'll go ahead and we'll apply those to the card. Now I'm going to do it the reverse of what I did originally because of the way the flag goes. Put one up here. And then I think I'm going to color one more, the medium sized ones here. And we'll pop that one down here. All right, so almost done. One more thing. How many of you remember or have the Wink of Stella? This is absolutely beautiful. So to match and add a little bit of subtle sparkle, this is a paintbrush filled with lovely glitter. So you can see it goes on. I don't know, maybe you guys can't see that. But if you squeeze it here, you're gonna. it's going to flow out of here into your brush. Now mine's already got a lot on there so I'm not going to bother squeezing it and I'm just going to carefully go over top of everywhere that I stamped with the or colored with the balmy blue. And it's okay if it gets over the edge a little bit. It's sparkle. You can never have enough. So I'm just quickly going over that. Okay, there we are. There's our card for tonight. I hope you guys can see if you can see that shine on the balmy blue that that Wink of Stella marker has left. Hopefully you can. But there you go. So what do you guys think? Do you like this card? Do you like the monochromatic? I was really excited last night after I did this to think about what other colors I could do it in. And you'll never guess what color came to mind first. That's right, of course, it was pink. Um, this would look gorgeous in any color. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking in and coming back after the first attempt. I do appreciate you guys popping in every week. So thank you very much. If there's any of these products um, that you're interested in, like I said, I will have this hopefully posted to my blog tomorrow as long as the blog cooperates. And Everything will be on there. So my product list, the measurements, the video, all of it will be there. So check on createwithbirdsnest.ca, hopefully tomorrow morning, and it'll be there for you guys to uh, rewatch and all the information. So thanks so, so much. Have a wonderful Tuesday evening, and I hope the rest of the week goes amazingly and no more Mondays. All right. Cheers, everybody.